In this demonstration, you'll learn how to perform all functions available through the License Settings utility. Some of the features demonstrated in this video may not be relevant to you. This will depend on which ANSYS products you have and how your License Administrator has configured them. To open the License Settings utility, click the Start menu, the ANSYS product version you are using, and then the ANSYS License Settings option. To enable or add FlexNet Publisher license servers, click the License Servers option. To enable the currently defined license servers, toggle the Enable option. To add a new server, click the plus sign and enter the port and server information. To specify redundant triad servers, enter the host name for each of the three servers in the spaces provided. Click Test to verify the configuration and then click Save to complete the setup. Click the Features in Use option to display all features that are currently being used. This option displays the license server name, current license file in use, available license features, available licenses per feature, licenses used per feature, and command line interface options. After enabling FlexNet Publisher, you can click the Borrow option to display a drop-down menu containing a list of borrowable licensing increments on Windows machines only. License borrowing allows you to take a license for use when not connected to the network. To do this, select the license increments you wish to borrow from the Borrowable Increments drop-down menu. You can enter text to filter the list of increments. Set the return date for each increment and then click Borrow. Click the Products option to display a list of shared web product licenses. Products are displayed along with the related customer number, number of licenses currently in use, and number of licenses available. Multiple products with the same name but with different customers can be displayed. Select the Roaming option. Roaming allows you to take shared web licenses for use while not connected to the Internet. A list of available shared web product licenses is displayed. Click the Checkout button for the appropriate product. A dialog box is displayed allowing you to select the number of product licenses you require and the return date for the licenses. When you have selected the number of licenses and the return date, click Set and then Check Out. Perform the above steps for all shared web product licenses you wish to roam with. The roamed licenses will automatically be checked in when the specified expires dates have been reached. If you wish to return them sooner, Return to the Roaming page and click Check In for the appropriate licenses or Check In All to return all licenses. Click the Elastic option to enable Elastic Licensing and import or enter your Elastic License Server ID and Elastic License Server PIN. To enable Elastic Licensing, toggle the Enabled option. Click the Import ID and PIN option and browse to the directory containing the JSON files supplied by your Elastic Licensing Administrator. Select the file and click Open, or directly enter or paste the values into the fields. Click Save when you are done. If your License Administrator changes the PIN for the Elastic License Server, you can perform the previous steps to update your server information. Click the Proxy option to display the Proxy Server Configuration window. To use the local machine proxy settings on the Windows platform, enable the Use Machine Proxy Settings Windows Only option. To specify a proxy server, enable the Use Specified Proxy Server option and enter the server address, username, and password for the proxy server. Click the License Service Priority option to display the order in which the licenses are utilized. To change the License Service Priority, Click and hold the double arrow icon to the left of the appropriate license service and drag the selection to the new position within your list. Elastic Web is always last and cannot be moved. After you have modified your list, click Save to retain your changes. Click the HPC Priority option to display the HPC products that are available and the order in which the HPC licenses are checked out. To change the license priority, Click and hold the double arrow icon to the left of the appropriate license and drag the selection to the new position within your list. 
After you have modified your list, click Save to retain your changes. To disable an HPC license, disable the checkbox to the left of the appropriate license and then click Save. Clicking the Diagnostics option and then clicking Generate gathers various licensing-related files, logs, and related information about your licensing client system and places them in a single folder as well as a compressed file. This feature is useful if you want to easily review the files from a single location or if you need to send them to a technical support representative. Additional information and command line interface options for the features demonstrated in this video can be found by accessing the ANSYS licensing guide in the online help. This concludes this demonstration of the functions available through the license settings utility.